we came back and put this little building on the grid we had put in just solar but it's just not enough this this nice little RV turned into a uh, kind of a tiny house is pretty nice and so there's just not enough power just on solar so it's a nice little nice little setup nice RV so we just because I took her well pump off grid and went solar was able to take that circuit and run this RV plus the air conditioner that we added so I think it's a uh, was a good move and it's very nice and it's nice and warm in here now and uh, we're just cleaning up and uh, so again the hot spots are great we've had just constant rain here so this is not um, keeping up obviously there hasn't been enough solar but a little AC assist a little grid power and we're we're good we're back in business so it's really nice and warm in here so this is a very good usable space it's really an RV that's not moving as you can see it's been made very nice and um, we've also got a it's an older system but a 24 volt battery backup on solar this is an old solar solar max system with an Ames inverter and we're, um, we're what we did is put an RV plug-in added a panel and put in a receptacle to just keep the maintain the batteries in here now this has been kind of abused for about six years and the batteries really um, needing to be replaced you can actually double up the battery so but for now um, everything is working we'll talk to the customer about replacing the batteries in here and then with the maintainer we should be good and not have to um, could still use solar but not rely so much on uh, on the grid and we could put this we could even put this on a timer and daily run it at night so I think this is good. This was just a quick little job that we had. And we're trying to knock out some little ones. We do a lot of the big installations, but this is just a little half day. Put in uh, some power and and uh, allow this little, it's a cool little bug out location. Cool little, I think it's used as an office sometimes, but uh, it's just a nice little spot here. And sometimes it's just nice to do a, a one day job versus having to go out of town for a week or two. And back here, we've got the little mini split. We're just finishing up some strapping, but here's the ACDC just cranking away. We had to run some conduit from the, from the AC, so this is great. She won't need to turn her propane on at all. I think it'll make plenty of heat in the climate that we're in. Oh, I better get out of the way. But there's solar. so. The last time I was here, there was a, it was just really dry, so I just wanted to show you, it's kind of random video, sorry. She has all these pastures, and we put waterers in and use the Pico Blender to pump, just pump her pond water up here every day, and the sprinkler heads just kind of flood this upper hill, so it produced a lot of forage. I mean, it's February right now, but it's, it's still really nice and green, and there's a lot of grass growing over here, so... It really works. You just gotta put water to it. Okay, so there's all sorts of contraptions around here. So I think she's gonna bring in some cows. She's got some sheep now. There they go. Those aren't albino deer, those are sheep. And we're just doing some finishing touches here on strapping and old Johnny the electrician's doing an inspection right now. We didn't pass inspection. He had to, the inspector always has to find something just to try to justify his job. We ran uh, conduit from there across. In Georgia, we like our so, pipe strap and our. Oh, easy now. Easy now. <laughs> Never know what's going to come out of that. All right, time to cut off. <laughs> time to cut it. All right. We've had a couple of good days in uh, God's country, otherwise known as Georgia, Johnny says. <laughs> it's been very entertaining. I need to get somebody to just follow me around and film because I've got too much work to do for me to film. 
and it gets very entertaining. I think we could have more of an entertainment channel than an educational channel. We just need a full-time cinem cinematographer. Okay, guys, Engineer 775 signing off from an RV.